Meet Ruth Bader Ginsburg. You may know her as the notorious RBG, Justice Ginsburg, or even just some of her famous words, I dissent. Today on this episode of Buzzworthy Biograph, we will be exploring the life and times of the notorious IBG. I'm your co-host Nina. I'm your co-host Selma, and this is the Buzzworthy Biograph segment, IBG edition, on your seven RBG was born on March 15, 1933, in Brooklyn, New York. She was born to Celia Bader and Nathan Bader. She graduated from James Madison High School and from Cornell University in 1954, where she met her husband, Marty D. Ginsburg, and they got married that same year. They would be married until his death in 2010. She also went to Harvard, but then transferred to Columbia due to the fact that Marty had to go there for work. He was also a lawyer. Ruth graduated first in her class in 1959. Ruth Bader Ginsburg's main accomplishment was fighting for gender equality. She helped the women of America to feel like they are not worse, not better, but equal to men. She won many court cases giving women the same rights as men. In the 70s, women received a lesser pay than men, even if they did equal or more work. IBG fought to change that, but the work still isn't done. Ruth Bader Ginsburg was quite popular throughout the U.S. She's had a few movies made about her, including the documentary RBG and On the Basis of Sex, Telling Her Story. She's also had many books written about her, like The Notorious RBG, and there's even been a Saturday Night Live skit about her. She also wrote a book called My Own Words, made with the help of Mary Hart and Wendy W. Williams. Before she became a justice on the Supreme Court, Ruth Bader Ginsburg got around. She had many different jobs, including clerking for the U.S. District Judge Edmund L. Palmieri, teaching at Rutgers University Law School, then back at Columbia, there she was the school's first tenured professor who was a woman, directing the Women's Rights Project of American Civil Liberties Union, for which she argued six landmark cases on gender equality before the U.S. Supreme Court in the 70s, serving on the Court of Appeals, the second highest court in 1980, appointed by President Jimmy Carter, and she served on the Court of Appeals until she was appointed to serve on the Supreme Court in 1993 by President Bill Clinton. She was the first Jewish woman to serve on the Supreme Court. IBG is worthy of her note in her field of expertise because she fought for women's rights in the time when women were better seen and not heard. She gave us a lot of rights that we have today. And no, she did not believe women were superior to men or deserved more rights. She just wanted equal treatment for everybody. Sadly, Ruth Bader Ginsburg passed away on Friday, September 18th, 2020, at the age of 87. It was a sad day for everyone, and her dying wish was to be replaced after the election. You know how that went. One of her famous quotes was, fight for the things you care about, but do it in a way that will lead others to join you. All in all, Ruth Bader Ginsburg was an awesome person and is definitely buzzworthy.